I had uh, a bicycle that, you know, I was having a hard time pedaling because I got a bad leg. And so then I saw an electric bike that was affordable. And uh, I was checking it out. You know, I, I was looking around for different ones. And this one was something I could actually afford and had good features. It had disc brakes and headlight and 21 speed controls on the handlebars. Um, and so, you know, and I ordered it and I waited and I waited and I waited and I'm wondering where the heck's my bike? And first it started out from Colorado and then something happened and they reordered it from California. And so, so it took a long time to get here, but it finally got here. So, okay. So I opened it up and it had all the parts and it even had, uh, the tools needed to put it together. And uh, all the wiring was already done. I just had to attach the controls to the handlebars. And uh, uh, it didn't take long to get it together. I think maybe uh, oh, a little, it was less than an hour and I had the bike fully put together. Um, that's what it looks like uh, when I just finished it. Um, there's the battery and that black box behind it is the control box. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. Here's the uh, motor in the hub along with the gear shift and so on um, and disc brakes on the back and on the front and uh, the kickstand is placed behind the pedals far enough that if you have to move the bike backwards uh, the kickstand is not going to get in the way you know how the pedals like to backtrack when you when you move something backwards so here's the battery in the box the battery has indicator lights to tell you how much energy is in the battery but there's also indicator lights on the control module to tell you how much available energy there is. Inside the box is where the controller and all that stuff is uh, is housed. Uh, there's the bike again. Here's uh, okay, so it's got a front gear shift. Um, there's the uh, power control, and uh, it has three levels of power assist. You can use low, medium, or high assistant power. And as soon as you start pedaling, it'll it'll uh, help you. Or you can shut that all the way down and just use the throttle. Um, on this side, the throttle's on the far right there. You can't see it. But uh, the back gear shift has an auto advance button. But I usually keep it in high gear anyway because by the time you get the bike rolling, I mean, you know, you got to be in high gear if you're going to help pedal it anyway. But it's got a light switch and it's got a horn. This is the battery mount. That's the front end that clips the battery in. And there's the actual electrical connections. Um, this is all the stats on the battery. Very important. I'm glad I took this picture because it's uh, uh, some of those words and stuff have worn off. I wrote my name underneath the battery and in several other key locations on the bike. And I put a lot of other markings on the bike to identify it. Um, this is the one thing I did not like about the bike was the seat. It was very uncomfortable and it was causing a very bad nerve pinch for me. So I was looking for a better seat and <laughs> I found this one. <laughs> and strange what they had to call it. But anyway, uh, I ordered it and it came. And uh, there's the seat. And I also got a nice big giant padlock for the bike. Among other locks too, I actually put a cable lock between the seat and the bike itself so that nobody can take the seat. But anyway, well, uh, here, let's take it for a ride. Oh, okay, all right. I'm gonna start from a standing stop. Oh, here comes a car. All right, I'm just gonna show you how fast this will build up. You can probably hear the motor whining. I'm not assisting it at all. Just letting it take off on its own. Enough. I gotta stop it here because this is the uh, this Lake Road intersection, so I gotta stop.
Okay, here we are. We're on Oberlin. We're gonna turn down fifth. Here comes fifth. Now we're booking a little faster. Woohoo! <laughs> Hope I don't get a speeding ticket. Okay, it's slowing down now. Anyway, that was a demo.